Uh, first off, just happy about the win. I'm celebrating all W's because I know how hard they are to come by. Uh, we played some really good minutes this game where we played really good defense. And then we go through those lows of five to six minutes where we just give everything away. But we do sustain it and then push away again. So I'm trying to be more consistent, but definitely proud of the, uh, proud of the win. First time you play this team, no DeAndre, no Jalen. They're available tonight, and they both have double-doubles. What can you just say about the impact they made tonight? No, oh, just important. I knew how important it was when we didn't take them to New Orleans. I know their, um, their impact is going to be huge on any game because they're both very dominant players, and I'm glad we had them tonight. Penny, towards the end, they got a little chippy, a, little, a lot of talking going back and forth. What would you tell the team about keeping their composure? In a yeah, we didn't like need that. anybody to get – kicked out of that game and then missed the next game at Houston. So, you know, it always gets a little chippy with, with Tulane. I don't know why, but it just always does. Penny, you play you played basketball in the 90s where it was hardcore inside in the paint. Jalen ended up with a double-double and a ripped jersey. What can you say about his performance tonight, how he kind of balled out in the paint all night? No, he's ready for the physicality of the game. You know, he understands now after going through one cycle of playing these teams, how they're going to play him, and he's more mentally ready for the uh, – the, uh, the game against these guys because he knows they're going to try to play him physical and he's already ready for it. Uh, Tyler played five minutes in the first half. Comes in, Alex is dealing with foul trouble. Comes in in the second half and hits some big shots. Um, what was, was he, was it just like defense related things in the first half that was keeping him? I just stayed with a, with a unit that I felt like I needed to stay with at the time. Tyler's always valuable to us. It's just different circumstances and situations for that. He's, he's a big part of what we do. Uh, that's why he played more in the second half. Is there like a look that you see in his eye where you feel like he's about to get hot? Or is there anything that you is, – is there a tell that he has where you can sense that he's about – because he hits, he hits like two, th two or three three-pointers in a pretty short span of time tonight he did. And, and I'm just wondering, like, is there ever a time where you can pick it out before it's going to – Happen. Not really, because I know he's always ready to make those shots. He's always, you know, uh, an asset when he goes into the game, and at any moment he could get hot. He's one of the few guys, if not the only guy, that can score points in bunches in a hurry, and he's always ready for that. So I don't need a look. I just I've seen it his whole entire life how he shot the ball. So it's great to have him as a weapon. Hey, despite your lows on offense, you still score almost 80 points. So how close are you to getting where you want to be offensively and defensively? Man, right now I'm a little disappointed in the offense because we're not moving the ball enough. And we played against the zone, and the zone is kind of funky. It just kind of makes you take perimeter shots and like one pass and a shot instead of getting into the, uh, the gaps and then passing to the other side and moving the zone. So tonight I'll accept that uh, with an ugly game and still scoring 80 points. Uh, but we still have some work to do with moving the basketball. Well, turning the page to Houston, now that you guys have handled your business against Tulane, was this a game you guys kind of had circled considering how things ended for you guys last year when you faced them? Well, obviously, every time you play Houston, it's always going to be a big game. So those are the games that you do have circled because of what happened last year. They beat us on a half-court heave, and then we missed free throws at the end in the conference tournament. So they're always the bar. They've been the bar, have an unbelievable culture. So every time you have an opportunity to play those guys, it's got to be, you know, you're, you're fired up for that. With you and Coach Sampson, whenever he talks about your program, it seems like he has a lot of respect for it. You do the same. I guess what can you kind of tell us about the relationship you guys have and just overall your thoughts on the program he's built up? Yeah, it's kind of weird because we become really close. You know, I've texted him during the uh, NCAA tournament, and he's texted me different things over the years uh, since I've been here as a coach. And he's always been a standard for me on how he plays because his teams, the way that they play at Houston – it's the way that I coached when I was coaching middle school, AAU, and high school. I haven't been able to get that atmosphere here yet, but I'm, I'm definitely striving to get that atmosphere. I just have so much respect for every guy maximizes their minutes while they're on the floor. They don't take any plays off. Uh, going in, piggybacking off what he said, asking about Houston, does this feel like kind of like deja vu? Like you guys won, had won six games going into Houston and like – you know, you're right on the cusp, you know, going to their place. Mm -hmm. Does it kind of feel like? We're in, a, we're in an identical spot. You know, even though they lost at SMU tonight, still going to be one of those games. They're going to come back mad, and we have to go in there and take care of business. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely similar from last year to this year. We just have, a, a to me, a better team going in there with all of the pieces. That's what I was going to ask. What's different about 
uh, it's like you say it's identical, but the situation is, but you guys are different, they're different. So what are the biggest differences between the scenario last year and now this scenario? I think the guys being a year older, obviously, and then understanding the rivalry. The young guys that we have are very effective. You know, they're they're very, you know, they're strong. They, they understand how to play. And it doesn't take much for them to, to go to another level. So to me, this team is better than than last year's team going in. Even though we haven't had the season kind of like we did last year, this team, to me, healthy is, is better. Hey, Penn, I know you say you're going to leave the guys who's not going to play at home. Do, are you thinking about considering changing that sense to magnitude of what this next game might mean, or are you still going to leave everyone at home who's not going to play? No, I'm, I'm big on just trying to keep the chemistry going with the guys that are going to play. I just came up with that because I feel like it was kind of that, that time of just desperation for us to just go together with the guys that are going to play, not have any extra distractions from the guys that weren't playing because it's just a lot of distractions. So the more quiet it can be, the better it's going to be for us to lock in. Lester, 11 points tonight, third straight game. He scored double digits, first time all season. What have you just kind of seen from him over these last couple games? Well, his hard work is just playing off, paying off. He's a guy that gets in the gym every day and gets shots up. So for him, like, again, he has to take on the task of guarding the other team's best player, and then he has to make shots for us, and he's been doing it. Why is it so hard to win in Houston? Because of their culture. They just they just make winning plays, man. Their heart and their hustle keeps them in every game. Whenever you start feeling like you're going to knock them out, they'll come up with two or three big plays. And then Quentin Grimes last year made big shot after big shot after big shot when they needed it. And uh, they just have this – this chemistry together, man, where they're united for the entire game, no matter who's out there on the floor. And if you have any hiccups, they take advantage of all of those. That's why it's tough to win there. we have anything else for Coach tonight? One more. Go ahead, yeah. Uh, are you confident going into this game? Like I'm very confident because we're healthy. We're healthy enough. We don't have any money right now. Game time decision kind of. But right now I'm very confident because I believe in my guys. 